بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اینڈ گڈ آفٹر نون جینٹل مین نارملی وی یوز لیڈیز اینڈ جینٹل مین بٹ یو نو ان سعودی عربیا دس از اے کلچر آف سیپریشن فیبرکیشن بٹوین دا لیڈیز اینڈ جینٹل مین سو اونلی جینٹل مین ان شاء اللہ میں نے بلائی پڑھ دیا اوکے فرسٹ آف آل آئی ووڈ لائک ٹو انٹروڈیوز مائی سیلف ایز ڈاکٹر خالد ایز انٹروڈیوز بریف My name is uh, Muhammad Khuram Khan and uh, I did PhD in 2006 from Southwest Chowdhury University of China on the full scholarship from the government of Pakistan and the government of China both fully sponsored scholarships and then uh, in 2007 in the beginning of 2007 I started uh, doing job at Bahria University as assistant professor in the department of computer science and engineering and I did 2 years job there then i got uh, you know invitation from uh, koya this institute to pursue research so i joined them recently in uh, february 2009 as a researcher research assistant professor so currently i am working here to, uh, to as a research assistant professor and uh, my main job and role here is to you know stimulate research activities in information security and biometrics so this is the reason that uh, this center is established for okay okay as you uh, know that uh, the topic of uh, lecture is research strategies for beginners actually this is the first uh, lecture of the series that uh, dr khalid has already informed me that inshallah we will have a series of lectures in this sequence like uh, first lecture is uh, to be given for the beginners for example there are many students or many researchers many research assistants who want to you know initiate their research work but they don't know how to do how to make ideas where to go where to find ideas like this kind of stuff and they are you know going here and they are just wasting their time when even when i give you my example when i was uh, a student and i was doing masters or my phd or you know uh, then i also did not know many things how to pursue research how to come up with the new ideas and how to generate ideas and where to search the literature these kind of things you know uh, nobody told me before but with the passage of time i started learning myself with my colleagues with my professor or some other you know friends then uh, you know uh, establish some research uh, uh, strategies in myself or anybody else you know some people uh, every everybody in the world establishes himself like this is a learning process the iterative process so research is also an iterative process so here in the center of excellence we thought that why not we introduce this kind of lecture series to the students especially and to the beginners who want to uh, start their research but they don't know how to do this the things then this is the uh, first uh, lecture of the sequence and inshallah hopefully you will see some uh, research strategies for the advanced uh, you know uh, people who are doing research already doing research like how to write paper how to write technical reports and how to where to publish paper this is also very important for for example like uh, when we come up with the paper then we don't know where to publish some of very important work is to be wasted and it is already you know i have seen so many good papers have been wasted in the uh, conferences normal conferences so people don't know they just uh, submit the work to you know uh, normal places or very good papers are you know uh, uh, which can be submitted for patent they were also wasted a lot of work has been wasted for that so people should know we should know that what is the worth of our work and where should we focus on like we should publish our work in which prestigious conference or prestigious journal not only to you know normal journal or normal conferences so these kind of things we will also give you the uh, you know lectures on these uh, uh, things in the coming future right and then we will also see some, some lectures on the patents how to write patents how to write papers and this kind of stuff right and how to give good presentation effective presentations and so i i hope that many people will join us in the future and uh, we also invite you if somebody is interested to give some presentation on this kind of stuff then please uh, join us okay and firstly i will give you the outline of my presentation first we will discuss about uh, research what is research some the basic definition that we should know that what is research why are we doing research and then we will see the research process what is the research process what we do in the research okay and uh, we will explore some research cases what are the research cases there are four research cases we will explore on 
later on in this presentation. And then we will see needs for a researcher, what a researcher should have in himself or herself, right? And then confusion in research and uh, idea making. Like for example, uh, I have come up with many, many, you know, courses, I have done many, many courses, but I don't know how to do research, how to start and how to uh, make ideas. So this is very important. You know, idea making is a creativity of, of a person. It's a very important thing. And everybody, you know, the people who are doing very good research, they are also human. So they can generate ideas and why not we? And daily life of a researcher, it's a very, you know, uh, hard question <laughs> if somebody asks that as a researcher, that's the toughest job, you know, we are doing. We have no entry time, we have no exit time for research. Sometimes we have to work for 20 hours, 21 hours. I remember when I was doing PhD, then I used to work 20, sometimes 22 hours or 20, 21 hours. This in two, early 2000, you know, five or six when I was uh, uh, winding up my PhD thesis. So daily life of a researcher is very tough, tougher than maybe just uh, normal academic people. And uh, how to generate a research topic? We will just briefly, you know, uh, get the clue of these things because we have a uh, shortage of time of one hour, so we have to cover a lot of things. But later on in future, inshallah, uh, some other lecturers will give you the, you know, lectures on this kind of stuff in the detail. And uh, we will see the credible and famous research publishers. There are so many publishers in the world who are publishing a lot of, you know, journals and uh, technical reports and this kind of stuff. But some are credible, which are indexed by ISI or some prestigious, uh, you know, uh, in indexing organizations. So we will see also them. And uh, third last, we will also see the typical contents of a research paper, just in a nutshell. I, will, I cannot give you a whole presentation. If I start giving the presentation of just typical contents of a research paper, then I, I think it could take me three or four hours or more than that. So I will just give you the introduction of the typical contents of a research paper in a nutshell. And uh, when you are reading a research paper, then what questions should you ask yourself? Because if you are reading a paper, just reading, 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 then it is waste of time. You should know something that what, why I am reading this paper and what is in this paper. Means you should be a critic yourself when you are reading a paper. And uh, there are some good qualities of a good researcher. It is inverted commas, good. What is the definition of good? So not qualitative, not quantitative, what? So there, there are some qualities of a good researcher. He should possess in himself. Okay? We will see it. And uh, I will give you a short demo of, because uh, I assume that there are, uh, uh, most of the people here are uh, beginners who are just research assistants who just joined this university or who are doing masters or PhD. So they should know that how to explore or how to search the literature on the IEEE Explore. Like, you know, are you familiar with the IEEE Explore? It's a digital library from the, you know, IEEE. IEEE is a very prestigious uh, institution of electrical and electronic engineers. So we'll see, uh, you know, a small and brief demo how to explore the data on the IEEE, right? Now research. Actually, research is a process. It's a diligent process of inquiry and investigation to find out facts, figures, and theories, and, you know, uh, some kind of procedures and applications, this kind of stuff. It's a very de de diligent process. And you just try to explore the new things. And the, your important, you know, uh, uh, you, you should say that your important objective in the research is to discover something which has not been discovered. Like I give you the uh, example of uh, one saying from the Einstein, Albert Einstein. He said once that uh, if you know what you were doing, in, uh, you are doing, then it means that you are not doing the research. Okay, means if you are doing something and you know what will be the result, then it is not research. You know the result, already know the result. Research means you have to discover some new things, new dimension, which should be, you know, has not been discovered before. So this is very important characteristic of research. And it's a systematic and methodical, uh, you know, process of research. And uh, you follow some systematic steps. You, you cannot that, uh, do research in the ad hoc basis. It's, it, it's, it has a systematic process, right? And of course, the very important thing is uh, in research is to increase knowledge. What has been known, you have to discover new thing beyond what has been already known to the people or to the community. So the important thing is that it increases knowledge. Whatever we explore, it increases new knowledge. And the purpose of research, actually the purpose of research is to review and synthesize the existing knowledge. In research, what we do.